told you, I have nothing else to say. Miss Byrne, I'd like you to meet Elise Brody. This is what Ned Loomis did to me. Oh. What time did he get to your apartment, Miss Byrne? He woke me. Oh, it was 2.30 in the morning. And what did he tell you? He said he had hurt Paige. He said it was an accident. It was her fault. An accident? Did he tell you what he meant? He told me he was drunk. She wanted him to have kinky sex with him. He said he didn't want to. He was engaged. And she dragged him into bed. And when he fought her off, he hurt her. Do you consider Ned Loomis to be a trustworthy person? Objection. Irrelevant. Mr. Stone is asking her whether she believed him. Overruled. The witness may answer the question. No. No, I don't find him to be a trustworthy person. And would you tell the jury why? Uh, objection, Your Honor, now he wants an opinion on an opinion. Overruled. Thank you, Your Honor. Once again, Miss Byrne, why do you consider the man you are engaged to to be untrustworthy? The night that it happened, Ned told me that nothing like this had ever happened to him before. And I believed him. Until I spoke to a woman who told me he had choked her. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Mr. Stone knows damn well that you can't allow... Sustained. The jury will disregard that last statement. And you pull that again in my courtroom, you'll regret it. No further questions. Ben, coming in. Three hours, 12 minutes, it's way too fast. We're dead. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Will the defendant please rise? As to the sole count of the indictment, murder in the second degree, how do you find? As to the sole count of the indictment, we find the defendant guilty. It's just preventive detention. Loomis destroyed every life he ever touched. We didn't change that one iota. At least we gave him justice. Justice doesn't give you grandchildren. 